This is Paul Gordon of State of Wakes, The Dose. Folding gun that looks like a smartphone worries police. Now, if you're watching the video, you can see an image of the folding gun here. It's an ideal conceal gun. It's a double-barreled, 380 caliber, lightweight, concealable handgun that when you fold it up, looks like a smartphone. And uh, the police are, they're all discombobulated. This is from Fox News. And this article was written, well, it, was, it just says Armed Forces. So, hello, Armed Forces. Good job writing this article. A double-barrel handgun that folds up to look like a smartphone is worrying police officers. Developed by Minnesota startup Ideal Conceal, the pistol folds into a palm-sized square. Smartphones are everywhere, so your new pistol will easily blend in with today's environment, explains Ideal Conceal on its website. In its locked position, it will virtually be uh, it will be virtually undetectable because it hides in plain sight. The gun can be safely carried in a purse or clipped to a person's side. The company added. However, the gun's resemblance to a smartphone is making police officers nervous. CNN Money reports, and I, I got to get my derp voice on because this is a derpy statement. In general, the concept of any kind of weapon that's being disguised. So it's not apparent that it's a weapon would be a cause for concern, said Bill Johnson, executive director and general counsel for the National Association of Police Organizations. The ideal appeal, uh, concealed pistol has a license list price of $395. Hey, that's reasonable. But it's a two-shot three i I'm not sure how I feel about that. And will be available for purchase in mid-2016. So we're almost ready. Almost ready to con to go out and uh, consume our smartphone gun. Got to go get that smartphone gun. According to the company's website, developer Kirk Gerald Gyer. It's spelled K-G-E-L-L-B-E-R-G. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I don't want to get a hernia. Told CNN Money he's already received 2,500 emails from people who want to buy the handgun. That guy, uh, insert name, uh, said the ideal key and seal cannot be fired while in its close. See, that's the see, that's the key thing. It cannot be fired while it's in its closed position. Now, if you were looking at the video and you saw when the gun is open up and ready to fire... It is very clear that it is a gun. So, yeah. When you're pulling, when you have a gun on you that you can't see and you can just pull it out and shoot, I carry an XD and that thing is uh, charged and ready for action. Nobody can see that thing until I take it out. I've got an advantage over the smartphone gun because the smartphone gun, you got to take it out and unfold it and then shoot. And you got two shots, and the two shots are of a 380. Now, I'm not saying that a 380 caliber is not uh, a caliber that I would not consider using for self defense. I'm actually even thinking about getting a 380 in the future for maybe a deep concealed carry. But I definitely am not interested. And by the way, that would that would that would be like a gun of last resort, not my first gun. I carry nine mil. Uh, it it would not be something that I would consider personally, because it's only two shots, two shots of three eighty. I sup. I mean, I I I don't know. I don't like my chances with two shots of a three eighty. I'm just gonna say I don't think the gun is very practical. the The purpose for this story making our our list uh today for for March 30th is the fact that the police feel compelled to issue a concern for a gun that is no real threat to them just the very idea that we human beings we non shiny badge people might have a weapon that is not easily discerned as a weapon concerns the shiny badge people because when the shiny badge people come to collect i mean mostly what they do they collect fines taxes they write us tickets their revenue generating machines they don't want us to have a gun that they might have a drop on them 
but I don't know how many people are are out uh, ready to go ahead and risk life and limb for the interactions that they have with the shiny badge people who collect revenue for the state because uh, uh, it's not enough for the state to collect taxes from us because taxation is theft. The state has to come up with other ways to generate revenue. The state needs us to be criminals so it can justify taking more money from us. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure that you like, share, comment, and above all, subscribe to the State of Wake channel for more awesome videos with me, Paul Gordon, dropping the news like it's hot. Except it's not hot, it's just derp. I drop derp news that shows how statism has run amok, like I've done in this awesome story.